Hey, good morning. This is a little short video of the Japanese tunnels in, in Davao. Now, these tunnels were a whole lot longer than what we got to see. They've shortened uh, quite a bit. A lot of people who own the tunnels have closed them off. So, yeah, it's just a little short video. It's kind of amazing how they dug this tunnel. But that was typical of the Japanese during World War II to build these tunnels and hide from the Americans. But don't you worry, Mama, to report an electric fan, so just tell me if you're feeling hot, I'm just uh -huh, turning it yeah. up for you. So the tunnel was supposed to be 7 kilometers long, but now only 150 meters per surf. Uh -huh. okay, because it's all private now and, and have different owners. So some owners, they put houses at the top, they build buildings, that's why they covered already the tunnel. So this tunnel, it's made of rock, adobe, that's why it has a strong foundation. And this tunnel also is used by the Japanese Imperial Army as their hideout during the World War II, 1942. So this is more than 80 years old, the tunnel. And dug by the Filipinos, dug by hand the by hand, hand, yes, sir. Uh, Two and a half years, uh, they, forced them mm, they forced the Filipinos, they captured the Filipinos everywhere in the Philippines and they brought here before dugging this tunnel. So they dug this out for two and a half years, day and night, no rest and no food. So this was the meeting room, and then the other side was the prayer room. You want to take a picture with the gold bars? <laughs> so those are replica. <laughs> so there's a real treasure that we found it here. Yeah. Year 1960. Found real treasure? They came back there in the Philippines and they made a program. So they are constructing the road during the time under the government. Japanese and Philippine Friendship Highways program. So they discovered that there is a tunnel here and they found also eight tons of gold here. Oh. Gold bars, 8,000 kilos, Cambodian oh. treasure. So oh. it came from the country of Cambodia. And this one, this is 10 feet deep well. So the water, it came from the mountain and until now continues non-stop flowing water. It's a spring water. Mm -hmm. So that is the source of water of the people here in Sedentary. Mm -hmm. We put a pumping machine, so every time they play full, we just turn it on and pump the water out to the tree. So we never use the water because it has dirt and so on. Right. You want to take a picture first? Yes. Filipinos and again, so the Japanese, they put that in that small space until they die. Oh, yeah. five to six yes. people. And then the original door was a bamboo wood. So mm -hmm. even they tried to escape before the Japanese are there. They just oh, shut no. and killed the Filipinos who tried to escape, scattered. Mm -hmm. okay? So there's a lot of skeleton that we found here, sacks of skeletons. So they put in one cemetery now, yeah. and until now it's unidentified. But mm -hmm. Mostly of them are Filipinos. Yes, thousands of Filipinos and few are surviving. On lower area, you need to don your head here. So are you familiar with this? Those kind of minerals? Limestone. Yeah. They started from here, how much? Stop, stop, stop. Oh, getting over here. Therefore, so the size of the tunnel is not equal because this is part of the strategy of the Japanese. In case the American armies would find out that there is a tunnel here and they're hiding on yeah. this part of the tunnel. You can say that about travel, right? Right. <laughs> So by the way, this water, it's drinkable, it's clean water, it's filterized already. Yeah, filterized through the rock. It's stalag tiger in the top, stalag in the So we don't allow to touch it, my mentor, because the oil in our hands is like acid to it. Right. So it will like color brown and there are few ways it will react. So this brown color, it makes it nice. So before, there is no electricity, so they use torch, a source of light. Yeah. yeah. Torch, it's smooth. How's your air, your oxygen? Is it okay? Yeah. Just tell me if you're feeling it. Turn on the mic. And this was the stock room or armory. So some things are original here. Like in the ground, some empty bullet shells, Japanese pistol, Japanese sword, some metals. Yeah. Those pick and shovel, we put that as a props only. So you can go inside, so you're allowed to go inside and hold anything. So that cabinet is original also. It's a mini vault, mm -hmm. so they found also a treasure inside of it. But now it's hard to open. Yeah. It is empty. Yeah. 
if it tried to open it, maybe there's a snake inside of it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you dare. <laughs> ah. You want to take a picture first? Uh, this is the last part. The commander officer office. That's the same one, sir. You cannot enter this property because it has a different owner. The yeah. owner of this, they put this barrier yeah. so no one can That's enter. Like allowed to yeah, so side. no one can mm -hmm. enter of their property. Because at the top of their channel, they made a lot of houses. It became a subdivision, a residential. Mm -hmm. But before, the original way is continuous left and right. Passageway, exit through the river. Mm. Mintal River, Ma'a River. And the straightway was the office of the commander. And these coins, the guests made this a wishing area. Yeah, that's why there's a lot of coins. After they made a wish, they throw a coin. Wow, gotcha. And there's a bill, 50 pesos bill. <laughs>